Cheers. Mm. Scotch. This is Gentlemen of the World. Um, we are a club that gets together and we try scotch. How it works is uh, one person brings a scotch and the others taste it blind. We'll smell it. We'll lick it. Maybe. We'll smell it some more. We'll lick it some more. We'll look at it. We'll look at it. We'll talk about it. We'll rate it. We'll make guesses on it. And then there'll be a grand reveal after we rate it. Uh, going around the room tonight, I'm Justin. I'm Vern. I'm Chris. I'm Alex. I'm Dave. Evan. Andrew. And picking up the scotch and having a look, what do we see, boys? Looks like scotch. It's on the darker side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice amber. Kind of like a pale amber, yeah. Like an apple cider. Yeah, or a flat beer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what beer? It's like a, like a pale ale kind of color. Mm -hmm. uh, got a little copper. Copper. Mm -hmm. copper. Oh, yeah, very yeah, copper. Copper. Mm -hmm. Copper. <laughs> Pale ale that's been left out overnight in the yes, looks definitely. like in the morning. <laughs> yeah, no bubbles. It was left at the bar. Yeah. It's a sad pale ale. It's a sad, sad beer. I'm going to try smelling it. Okay. Wow, that's nutty. Mm. Mm. Not going to say it. Yeah. I smell, I do smell nuts. Whose? <laughs> Who forgot to shower? All of yours. <laughs> <laughs> it is hot in here today, okay? Not my fault. We just turned the AC off, so. I'm still looking at it and it's swirling around in the, in the glass that's on the thin side. Nutty, maybe a little bit of cinnamon. Yeah. So the last scotch had a, a Disney vibe to it, like full of magic. But this is maybe... This is a Long Beach vibe. Like a true detective scotch? Yeah. I mean, it's, it smells full-bodied. Mm -hmm. Getting like candied at almonds. Oh, good. Has anybody tried it yet? Or are we still no, just still on the, smelling yeah. this thing up? Yeah. It gets like a subtle sweetness, like a nutty sweetness. But, but it, uh, it's not peaty, but it... Is definitely not caramely sweet. I feel like no, the sweetness mm, is no. half of it. And then there's the other half that smells kind of hot. Like definitely it's got roasted, right? Yeah, it's yeah. roasted. Yeah, but there's there's like very little smoke, peat, band-aid, mm -hmm. roasted almonds. It's like Maybe. the anyone? Yeah. The pecans from a pecan pie. Like none of the filling, none of the sweet oh, filling. The top just, ones. Yeah. just the the crispy the stuff yeah. my kids pull off of the pie. Yeah. The best part. Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel like there's a there's gonna be a lot of uh, oakiness on it. There's only one way to find out. Okay, challenge. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's like white oak, like mm -hmm. not real heavily charred oak. This is pretty good timing because two of us actually have bandaged fingers right now. Yeah. I do get a slight band aid on this. I do. <laughs> but with this though, like a lot of the other scotches that we tried were like rather syrupy or like thick on the tongue. Like mm -hmm. this is very, very thin. It mm -hmm. is. Yeah, not like, a lot very of watery finish. Yeah. It's nice, but it's not complex yet. There's still yeah. time. I get a lot of the medicinalness, that like kind of band-aid-y, but it, you don't get the, the mm. peat or anything like that where normally those flavors would come from. On the tongue? Yeah. Hmm. I do get a rich, rich smokiness on the tongue yeah, a little bit. I do too. But it is, it's a, yeah, it's a watery, to use your word, Alex, mm -hmm. a watery smoke. It's a, it's a little hmm. bit of that campfire, but it's not, it's not hot or harsh. It's just a little, little smooth. It's the morning after the campfire. No, yeah, it's like a camp, like a doused campfire. I'm getting yeah. some mm. some ocean, like some oysters, like raw mm. oysters. Okay, Ooh, sing to me, wow. Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you mm. basically just did said all the Talisker storm notes. <laughs> mm. Seems a little dark for that. Spoiler alert, maybe. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to lead the witness. <laughs> I did bring this scotch. Yeah, it's uh, it's. Tastes like half of Talisker Storm, like the, mm. the front half and then no complexity on the back end. So a poor man's Talisker Storm. Possibly, yeah. It's wow. like a beach bonfire without the beach. Yeah. Green screened. The beach is yeah. green screened. It's like, pretend like it's yeah. at the beach. <laughs> There's a beach like, there. Oh, okay. Okay. I can dig it though. Yeah. It's not, it's not complex, like you said. Yeah. But it's not, it's not a bad scotch. It definitely tastes like scotch. I can't really get much <laughs> flavors out of it, to be honest, mm. like in either on the nose or the palate, except for it kind of tastes like scotch. <laughs> I'm kind of confused, guys, with this one. Yeah, mm. it yeah. is. Yeah. I have to be honest. Going back to the nose, I'm getting some cinnamon. Did anybody say cinnamon? Oh, I could get, yeah, I could get I on cinnamon the cinnamon the train. Yeah. A lot of the baking spice, for yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. Maybe some nutmeg. The nose and the palate are completely different. Yeah, they really are. Yeah, the... 
those oysters, I get them on the on the finish. But that's kind of it. Yeah. Kind of that. Going back to it, I don't smell any of that. Yeah, but there's like a little little briny end to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that salt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kind of makes you want to go back for another taste, though. It's kind of nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's simple but good. I don't, I really don't have like a lot of negative things. Otherwise, uh, other than I would love for it to be maybe more complex on mm-hmm. the back end. But yeah. for being August, I think this is fine. It's like a nice. This is a nice fall. Yeah, nice mm-hmm. autumn. Get for, you out of fall, summer. Yeah. Get you out of summer and into the fall yeah. mood. This is a great transition scotch. If this was May, though, you'd be like, get no, me out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. yeah. It's transitioning the wrong yeah, way. Why am I armpit sweating? Yeah. yeah. From yeah. the guys who brought you Talica Storm, this is Talisker before the storm. <laughs> 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 the calm before the storm. <laughs> Maybe. It's a good guess. Talisker Tropical that Depression. That just made me think of like that smell of fresh rain on the pavement. Like oh, the first yes, rain in a yes, long time. Yes. There's that distinctive mm. smell You're from All the Midwest. Sudden, so you smell like the iron in the air or like, you know, <laughs> the humidity. And- iron. So sure, that's kind of a good note. I get some like metallic. Maybe it's yeah. the, like the weird, yeah. like briny oyster shell thing. Calcium iron kind of a thing. Almost like a. Maybe uh, we're back to medicinal. Copper penny kind of. Copper yeah. penny. Yeah, yeah. 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 Brewed with mm, copper pennies. Yeah. yeah. Copper penny barrels? <laughs> they make those, right? Finished with copper pennies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's got a copper penny hogshead. Uh-huh. There, yeah. It's not that it has no finish. It's, I would just say that's unremarkable. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Yeah. Would you put water in this? Or is that just, I actually, yeah. yes. I want to try. Yeah. I feel really, like really want to. There, I hope there's like some fruits in there that come out. Yeah. There's some Go flavors definitely that, that can come out of there. Fruit foraging. I get, to, without water, I get like... Cheers. Um, those golden raisins. Oh, good. Andrew, you're going deep. I like this. Did you look up like a, like a Rolodex yeah, of terminology <laughs> or some scotch tasting notes? I just looked up a bunch <laughs> of car tasting notes. This, like, okay, I got to do golden raisins. I got to do band-aids. A lot of ground to cover for Actually, for that, Andrew those were the tasting notes for Fireball. But <laughs> I figured nobody here would know. <laughs> I think I'm still just confused because there's definitely some scotch that felt like lacked depth. But this is just, I think it just, it goes down its own lane. And I think it's okay. Like the lane that it's driving down is okay. And I'm okay with it. This is the but I'm just confused by it. Yeah, but it's like a road. It's like a back country road that nobody really needs to go down or This wants. is like the road going along the side of the highway. <laughs> yeah, it's like road. you can't go down the highway. A fronted it's a lot more, road? Yeah, fronted, yeah, fronted, fronted road. road. This is the fronted road, Scott. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> That's beautiful. This is the frontage road next to Talisker Storm and Lago Yeah, Berlin. it's the road that has no off turn to go to Talisker. <laughs> you just have to drive right by Talisker. Yeah, but I'm not like upset by it. I'm just I don't by get it. like the pepper that mm. I would get with Talisker. Yeah, you people that have put water in a uh, couple drops of water, what do you, how does it change? It's even more desaturated. Yeah, I mean, there, there might be some like apricot type of fruits coming through, like uh, fresh but distant. Mm. Like they're in the room, but they're a little not brininess. Yeah. Apricots with like a mi- sea mist. I haven't added water yet, but I'm, I think I'm getting like a, like a black cherry kind of thing. Like it's mm. definitely like a cherry, it. but it's yeah. like, it's not a, like it's not, it's not a super sweet cherry. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. The water makes it very drinkable. I just took a big swig and it went down like water. You like it better or... Not um, with water. I feel it actually more muted. Yeah, it, it's, it's it's it yeah. feels casual. Yeah, like uh, after you add water, like this is something you you could have while Netflixing and not have to pay attention to it. I maybe the scotch doesn't want us to pay that much attention. Maybe it's it like just you wants could you to, could be on your phone while you drink this. Yeah, and there's okay. probably yeah. a lot of space for that scotch. I could be swiping right on other scotches while drinking this scotch. <laughs> <laughs> I think the water kind of sweetens the nose. Or swiping well, left, I don't know which one it is. I'm getting, I'm getting more of like the brine saltiness uh, after water. After a water, almost like the, like a salted meat or something like that. Just super drinkable. I mean, a little bit of water. Yeah, I like it. The more I, the more I taste it. Yeah, it's it's light. It's smoky. Yeah, a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more fruit once you add water. Mm-hmm. So I guess that adds a little bit to the complexity. Still not a lot of oh. complexity here, but uh, yeah. I'm- a little bit of wood, like I think yeah, some young wood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> different phrase, I suppose, but so it it smells like a tree. Green wood, yeah. Saying? We just got that little e next to the, yeah, the small, podcast. That yeah, small yeah, little e right, right next to it. Yeah. an adolescent wood. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That that's way better. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Any other Any other thoughts? Anybody wants to throw out feelings, emotions? To me, I mean, it's it's really good. It tastes like somebody's definition of a peated scotch. Like, mm. I guess it's like a meta version. Like if somebody could program what a peated scotch would taste like, mm. like this is what a computer would spit out. Like, oh, this is a peated scotch. So you're getting some peat, like proper well, peat? Like the, the, the flavor notes. It doesn't have like the of nose it. of it, but like that medicinalness, that, you know, kind of, I don't know, like tongue numbingness a little bit, mm-hmm. but it's there's, like, it, there's no complexity behind that. I think I know what you're trying to, it's like artificial flavoring. Yeah. Like there's artificial yes. flavoring of scotch in or, the scotch. Yeah. Or uh, this is probably gonna be very offensive to the uh, master distiller, which I'm sure he's, he or she is listening. Yeah. But like, of course. like somebody watched the YouTube on how to make scotch. And then this was, and then mm. like raised a bunch of money. I was like, I made scotch yes. and it's pretty good. It's not offensive. It's, I, I loved your, like, this is the frontage road of scotches that it's going in the same direction as the rest of scotch, but, uh, and there's nothing wrong with it. You can go on that road, but you're not going to go as fast. But is it the mm. on-ramp and it's scenic. to better it's scotch or is it the off-ramp? No, this is like the frontage road or like a business park. Like you're never getting on the <laughs> oh, road. Oh, wow. You're, you're like an scotch. Irvine. Yeah. This, this is, is the Irvine of scotch. Wow. Irvine frontage road of scotches. Wow. Somebody who lives in Irvine, mm. I'm highly offended by that. Yeah. Just, I don't think we've ever had a listener in Irvine <laughs> other than the person <laughs> who made that comment. <laughs> Anyone listening outside California, go to Google Maps and uh, figure out where Irvine is. You can get some context here. I don't think Scotch is in the master plan of Irvine. Definitely not. Like to what you said, Evan, kind of like a kind of like a liquid smoke flavor, but it's not bad or cheesy like that. Yeah, but exactly. It's kind of analogous to it, but but without being a you know a negative connotation. Exactly. It's like a meta scotch. Mm, meta scotch. I don't know if this is a tasting note, but this is the fastest that I've ever drank. Yeah, my, did you shoot my, that? <laughs> and it went down really I fine. I had no problem drinking the scotch. No, this goes down really easy. Is yeah, that, is that a smooth. metric we're going to start measuring now? How quickly <laughs> yeah. first time we drink the scotch? The yeah, speedability. I, that, I mean, we were joking about the water, the wateriness, mm-hmm. new word. But maybe that makes it go down super easy because, yeah, you don't even tell you're drinking it and all of a sudden you look at your glass and it's gone. Yeah. It is literally Agreed. gone. Yeah. I have no more. I would take some more if somebody gave me some, but yeah. I'm also okay. Anybody want to uh, throw out any guesses before we rate the scotch? I'm actually going to say Isla. I know it's not quite that peaty, but I'm going to say it's an Isla. There's enough there that I say Islands too. I mean, I've been surprised before. I think there's enough briny there. Evan and Chris with the highlight call. Anybody else? Hmm. <sighs> this is like if, I, <coughs> if IKEA made a scotch. This is what it would be. Yeah. Uh, so call. you're saying Swedish? Yeah, so this is yeah, a Swedish scotch. Yeah, Swedish. Yeah, Swedish. Swedish. <laughs> so it's in a Bruklotic bottle. <laughs> yeah, it's in a Bruklotic bottle. I'm thinking islands somewhere, somewhere in those islands. I'm going highlands. Ooh. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I mean, maybe even space side, like a rogue space yeah. side that's mm. trying to like like a coastal space side. Oh. That mm. uh, kind of a fake out, yeah. Even though it's, I feel like more sort of biscuitiness and, and graininess in a mm-hmm. uh, in a, maybe a Highlander, but then there's the caramel of Space Side, and this seems to sort of drift right between the two. So it's whatever's mm. on the border of uh, Highlands and the Space Side. Bell Blair, are you sure that they <laughs> you just share a border? Just said a word. Just said a word. I actually agree with that. I I'm yeah. I'll I'll just adopt that for mine, but I'll add that I think it's about twelve years old. Oh, I, I, yeah, I would, I would concur with my compatriot over there who's studied and, and came up with notes. really good yeah. tasting notes. Today. I'm, I'm going over 12 years old, just judging on the color. Mm. I, I can't give a definitive answer, but based on the color, I'm going over. Yeah, it could be, it could be, a uh, like a more of a mass market scotch that's trying to be very drinkable. I don't know, like a Macallan or like a mm. Glenfiddich. He could be trying to trick us. Uh, He's that a is very one. Mean. Yeah. That, that it's I don't like know a, why that would be a trick. I mean, it's just giving well, a scotch. I think yeah, because you're we're, welcome for this trick. we're <laughs> typically more pretentious than that. <laughs> and we would scoff at like a Macallan. So he's probably trying to trick us and giving us like a very like just regular scotch. And now, we only scoff at Glen Morangi. 
Is it Glenn Morangi? Ooh, he be. said it first. I was going to say, it, dare it I say well. Glenn Morangi? <laughs> wow. Unless it's a special edition. I don't think it's they, I mean, Glenn Morangi does, I would say they normally have more of like an artificialness to it. And this doesn't have an artificial, it, it does feel cleaner and more pure, just not very like complex. Hmm. So I don't know, maybe it is like, it's not enough sweetness for Macallan, but I mean, a Glenn Morangi is actually a pretty good guess. All right. Are we ready to rate it? Yes. All right. Chris, on the calculator. The accountant is ready. All right. Let it start with Dave. Rate it. I'm going to call it a seven. I I enjoy it. It's like, you know, my my rating is like anything above five is I like it. And then it's kind of like right in the middle of the road as far as like the like scale. It's not overly impressive. It's not underwhelming. It's just kind of like it's it's scotch and I'm enjoying it. Mm. Scotch. Yeah. A good C average. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I agree with that 100%. And I will also say a seven. I'm persuaded. I'll go with seven. Wow. Yeah. I think, Dave, the way that you said it was so poetic, and I think it spoke to everybody, including me, I'm going to give it a seven as well. Wow. It's, it's not the best. It's not the worst. Very we don't, drinkable. We don't even need an accountant for this. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Chris. Uh, and I got to be honest, nothing the, wrong yeah, with C God students. is in the scotch. It's all seven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Vern? I would love to rate this a seven, but I'm not going to. Wow. Uh, you it's bro- contrarian. Oh, you a, I'm, I'm in two minds. Like, drinkability. If you say like 7.1, I, <laughs> I, yes. I might punch you. Uh, <laughs> 6.99. He's got to be without going over. No, I think I'm, I think I'm, I'll give it a 6.5. It's fine. Oh. I was going to do mm. six. You guys persuaded me with Dave's just. Poetic speech. job. Poetic. <laughs> His logic is undeniable. Yeah. You're His best man speech. Six, six five, six five. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that six point five with the seven point five. Oh wow! Oh. There, the accountant has yeah. to there's, do that. Suck yeah. it, Vern. I, I like the seven. I'm just going seven point five because there's that slight smokiness and, and campfire there that I like. In addition to the drinkability, so. it spoke to you. Yeah. C plus or seven point five, Alex. Yeah, I'd ranked uh, Front Edge Road as a seven as well. <laughs> a, proper, a proper Front Edge Road Yeah, they can rename. Yeah. yeah. It's Front Edge Road. And uh, what does that bring us to, Chris? It's got to be a seven, right? <laughs> I mean, I'm no accountant with a calculator, but. If anybody's doing the math, uh, seven even. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so. Dang it. 7.0. 6.9. I still did that on a calculator, by the way. <laughs> just, you just, in case, money. just in case. Just in case. Yeah, you're a proper yeah. accountant. We're an honest yeah. podcast here. Yeah. yeah. If anybody wants to do the math at home, we we'll <laughs> feel free to write in. Yeah. We got the numbers yeah. wrong. Talk yeah, about it in the ratings. subreddit. Yeah. yeah, check me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so we are drinking Finn Logan. Hmm. Ooh, I believe right. is, is how it's said. I got this at Trader Joe's. I believe it was $20. No way. Wow. Oh, no yes. way. Oh, How does that okay. change Excellent things? Excellent value for money. That How does that great. change things in your mind? I've actually Excellent heard value. some Fantastic. good things about the Trader Joe's branded scotch. I would have never guessed this was only twenty dollars. No, that I, don't think, I didn't even know so they made twenty dollars. So it's not a Trader. It's not a Trader Joe's scotch. I just got this at Trader Joe's. Okay. Oh, and it's yes. yeah. an Isla. Yeah, and it is an Isla. Yeah. This is my new Magnus right here. An Isla. I mean, it's an Isla. Told you. Whoa, 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 whoa. And it's its own distillery. Yes. This isn't a Trader Joe's. It definitely was giving me Magnus vibes. I mean, Magnus is 38 bucks. This is only 20 bucks. I mean, this is in my stable now for... Magnus is not a front of Rose scotch, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Name alone puts it on the highway. Yeah. My Easy. sleeves rolled up right now. <laughs> <laughs> Mag- Magnus is in the right lane, but it's on the main highway. <laughs> well, I think this thing's on its way off the frontage road then. Fern's looking at the I'd bottle like he's trying to find this is some sort of well, sure. it, sure. it is, sort of it is like, No, no, no. It is a little dubious. <laughs> All right, hear me out. Made in okay. Scotland, Indiana. Distilled, matured, and bottled in Scotland. Fine. It's a good start. <laughs> it checks out. Uh, Minimum requirement. Vintage Malt Whiskey Co. Go through Sweden. Sweden. Glasgow. Uh-huh. It's in Glasgow. Uh-huh. Uh, although is there in... is no distillery at Finlagen Castle, this ancient home of the Lord of the Isles lends its name to one of the island's finest malt whiskeys. I mean, it does say Islay Single Malt so- Scotch Whiskey Old Reserve, but I don't think there's a Finlagen distillery. That's actually wow. Fairly Finn common Logan right now in Scotland. Somebody that's listening to this just clenched their fist at you right <laughs> Prove now. Prove me wrong. <laughs> they literally Ryan. just bought an airplane ticket to come up here. And <laughs> yeah. in the and that's why we're only paying twenty bucks for it. <laughs> I mean, probably, 
But because that's actually fairly common. There yeah, and I'm not I'm not saying like scotches. I'm not I'm not poo pooing on it. I'm just saying I don't think there's a Finlagen distillery. I think that they're sourcing. I mean, if it's single malt, what are they doing? How are they getting it? Twenty dollars is like what I don't understand because it is really good for twenty mm-hmm. bucks. It's a really good scotch Excellent for for that price. And I would totally buy that. But um, I'm curious as to how they're getting there. Because it's, I don't think it's traditional. It doesn't add up to you. It doesn't add up. You're it's frustrated. Not a, yeah. You're pissed. Why are you pissed? <laughs> they probably I mean, source. I don't understand. <laughs> I feel like somebody's, it's somebody's close, pulling your leg. But there's something off. They probably source their barley from multiple locations. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I mean, most distilleries don't. Huh? Most Is distilleries this a bottler? Would not. Sweden. I don't know. Don't talk shit on Trader Joe's. No. But would you guys like the official tasting notes off the bottle? I would love some. What's that? The official tasting notes. Yes, please. So on the nose, earthy, smoky peat, and salty ocean breeze, Andrew. On the palate, pungent peat smoke, chewy, sweet malt, pepper, tar, and a touch of iodine. It might be that medicinal thing we were getting. Yeah, the iodine yeah. for sure. Mm-hmm. The copper. It's that tar from Frontage Road, you guys. <laughs> 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 Hasn't been paved in a while. They, they freshly slurry sealed it. On the finish, long and warming. Wrong. Smoky ashes of the peat fire. <gasps> By the beach, behind the green screen, in front low, of the green screen. Low fire. Mm-hmm. The green screen Taken fire. And, and beach fire. By that oh, side road. Sorry. Yeah. And also we said <laughs> the extinguished fire. The oh, extinguished yeah. Extinguished fire that was brought up earlier. Yeah, nailed Check it. the tapes. I found some info on, on Finn Logan. Uh-oh. Uh, the Vintage Malt Company is based in Glasgow, Scotland. They were founded in 92, 1992 by Brian Crook and have the unique talent of finding good deals on hidden casks and extra production lots. They find orphan casks, even a single barrel, and cut a deal to bottle it up as Aww. a special release. Shall I keep reading or? Yes. No, it makes sense. I love this keep story. Yeah. yeah. They're like, they're hacking it. Finn Logan is one of their house brands of single malt Isla whiskey, and it is available in three strengths. It is a core offering. So Finn Logan has cut a long-term deal to gain access to a consistent flow of the superior single malt. Hmm. Which distillery is the source? They won't say. <gasps> there it is. Yeah. Which wow. actually is a perfect fit for mystery scotch tasting. Yeah. We don't yeah. know. <laughs> Wow. What's the ABV? Honestly, uh, is, is there I, an age statement? 40% ABV. I smell an adventure. We need to get to the bottom of this. Let's fly to Scotland. Deal. Let's. Yeah. let's well, that's what this, this scotch this wants down. you to do. It's the mystery down. scotch. <laughs> and it's just like, oh, we're only going to tell you a little bit about us. Yeah. And come and get me. If you want to find out more, come take me out for a drink <laughs> in Scotland. Come find me. Swipe right. <laughs> or left. I don't know which one's. We're obviously the drinking one? this neat, let alone scotch. I don't think I've had any alcohol at $20 a bottle that you can sip this smoothly drinking yeah. neat. Is this I, the I, best I, I $20 mean, bottle we've ever had in this a, club? A $20 bottle, let, let alone scotch, Probably, let alone yeah. all alcohol. You give me a $20 to buy any kind of alcohol and sip it neat. I don't think I've had anything else this smooth mm-hmm. without, you know, ice or without chilling or anything wow. like that. Finn I mean, Logan, so. did you just hear that? Sometimes you have to take frontage road to get around traffic. And I think that this is that scenario. You get around traffic and Mm -hmm. it's a good ride sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes you got to stop and go to Panera or Chipotle. They're on the frontage road. You're on your way to Vegas and the 15 is crowded and you got to go on that side frontage road. Yeah. You know. Nice. To the frontage road less traveled. (laughs) Where we're going, we don't need frontage road. But it got us to where we have to be, and mm. we have to mm. thank it for that. Yeah. We appreciate it. Thanks, Finn Logan. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Finn Logan. Wherever you are. <laughs> Whoever you are. Yeah. Whoever and yeah. wherever who, you are what, out there on where, some frontage whenever. road. Whenever. In Scotland or, ooh, who knows? <laughs> We're a Scotch positive club. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. May we generally be happy, generally be witty, generally be honest. Above all, always be interesting. Cheers. 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 Bit of a compliment for Finlog and Meg. If you like what we are doing, please follow or subscribe wherever you enjoy podcasts, whether it's in Ohio or France. So you know when we have new episodes released. And tell your friends. Find us on Instagram or Facebook at Mystery Scotch Tasting. And leave us a comment. Always remember to enjoy your scotch responsibly. And please tell your friends.